Hello students I am Dr Shilpa Shree and welcome to my channel Study Management in this video we will be studying about international business environment so let's first understand what the term business refers to business refers to the set of activities and commercial transactions that take place between two parties that is buyer and seller international business means carrying on business activities beyond the national boundaries in other words it refers to those business activities that take place beyond the geographical limits of a country the activities in international business normally include the transaction of economic resources such as physical goods capital provision of services like technology banking transportation insurance construction trading and so on further international business includes not only international trade of goods and services but also foreign investment especially foreign direct investment now let us understand the different definitions given by various authors on international business according to roger bennett international business involves commercial activities that cross national frontiers in the words of john d daniels and lee h raidberg international business is all about business transactions private and governmental that involve two or more countries private companies undertake such transactions for profits government may or may not do the same in their transactions according to michael r sincota international business consists of transactions that are devised and carried out across national borders to satisfy the objectives of the individuals companies and organizations these transactions take on various forms which are often correlated now let us understand the difference between domestic and international business the major difference between domestic and international business is the environment within which the business is conducted while doing business within one's own country one is familiar with the prevailing environment and is able to adjust to it but in the case of international business environment in the foreign country is different and is unfamiliar for a business firm because of the environmental differences the strategies a firm uses in the home country might not be appropriate in the foreign countries therefore while carrying on business activities internationally one needs to be extra careful in identifying various environmental forces operating at the global level and should examine their influence on production personal financial and marketing operations of the firm for this reason it is very much essential to understand and study what is international business environment in general environment means the surrounding in the context of a business firm environment can be defined as various external actors and forces that surround the firm and influence its decisions and operations the business environment comprises of two types the first one is micro environment and the second is macro environment micro environment the micro environment consists of the actors in the company's immediate environment that affect the overall performance of the company micro environment include suppliers customers competitors marketing intermediaries and public suppliers suppliers are those who supply the inputs like raw materials and components to the company the importance of reliable sources of supply for the smooth functioning of the business is obvious 
it is very risky to depend on a single supplier because a strike lockout or any other production problem with that particular supplier may seriously affect the company hence it is always safe to rely on multiple sources of supply in order to reduce the risk the next important micro environment factor is customers the major task of a business is to create and sustain customers a company may have different categories of consumers like individuals households industries and other commercial establishments and other government and other institutions for example the customers of a tire company may include individual automobile owners automobile manufacturers public sector transport undertakings and other transport operators depending on a single customer is often risky because it may place the company in a poor bargaining position thus the choice of the customer segments should be made by considering a number of factors including profitability dependability stability of demand growth prospects and the extent of competition competitors a firm's competitors include not only other firms which market the same or similar products but also those who compete for the discretionary income of the consumers for example the competition for a company's television may come not only from other tv manufacturers but also from two wheelers refrigerators cooking ranges smartphones and so on this competition among these products may be described as desire competition as the primary task here is to influence the basic desire of the consumers a marketer should thus try to create primary and selective demand for his products marketing intermediaries marketing intermediaries are agents or middlemen who help the company in promoting selling and distributing its goods to final buyers marketing intermediaries are vital links between the company and the final consumers physical distribution firms which assess the company in stocking and moving the goods from its origin to their destination various marketing research firms advertising agencies media firms consulting firms that assess the company in promoting the products to the right market and financial intermediaries which finance marketing activities and ensure business risk are some of the examples for marketing intermediaries a dislocation or disturbance of this link or a wrong choice of the link may cause the company very heavy public a public is any group that has an impact on an organization's ability to achieve its interests media public citizens action public and local public are some examples the local public affects many companies environmental pollution is an issue often taken up by a number of local public actions by local public on the issue have caused some companies to suspend the operations or to take pollution abatement measures macro environment macro environment on the other hand consists of broader forces which affect the firm as well as other actors in the firm's micro environment macro environmental factors are beyond the control of the business macro environment includes economic environment political environment legal environment socio cultural environment demographic environment natural environment and technological environment the first important macro environment factor is the economic environment economic conditions economic policies and the economic system are the important external factors that constitute the economic environment of a business 
the major economic indicators influencing the foreign market decisions the first one is economic development countries characterized by high levels of economic development not only have high demand for a variety of products but they also have a better infrastructure and more developed marketing systems competition is also high in these countries in the less developed countries on the other hand not only demand is low but the infrastructure is also poor it therefore becomes quite difficult and more expensive to do business in such nations the second important factor is the level of income in a developed con developing country the low income may be the reason for the very low demand for a product the sale of a product for which the demand is income elastic naturally increases with an increase in income but a firm is unable to increase the purchasing power of the people to generate a higher demand for its product the third important factor that comes under the economic environment is the economic policy some types or categories of business are favorably affected by the government policy some adversely affected while it is neutral in respect of others for example a restrictive import policy or a policy of protecting the home industries may greatly help the import competing industries legal environment a country's legal system is important for business because laws regulate business practice laws define the manner in which the business transactions are to be executed laws set down the rights and obligations of those involved in business transactions In most nations promotional activities are subject to various types of controls some governments specify certain standards for the products including packaging to be marketed in the country some even prohibit the marketing of certain products some european countries restrain the use of children in commercial advertisements in a number of countries including india the advertisement of alcoholic liquor is prohibited advertisements including packaging of cigarettes must carry the statutory warning that cigarette smoking is injurious to health advertisements of baby food must necessarily inform the potential buyer that breastfeeding is the best in countries like germany product comparison advertisements and the use of superlatives like best or excellent in advertisements is not allowed for drugs food additives com- cosmetic preparations a full disclosure requires more knowledge of the long range side effects of materials that are ingested into the complex human body political environment political environment refers to the influence of the system of government and judiciary in a nation on international business The system of government in a nation has considerable impact on its business. The government reserves the right of allowing a foreign firm to operate in the country as well as laying down the manner in which a biz- foreign firm can conduct business. The next important macro environment factor is the socio-cultural environment. The socio-cultural fabric is an important environmental factor that should be analyzed while formulating business strategies. For a business to be successful, its strategy should be the one that is appropriate in the socio-cultural environment. Nestle, a Swiss multinational company, today brews more than 40 varieties of instant coffee to satisfy different national tastes. the buying and consumption habits of the people their language beliefs and values customs and traditions taste and preferences education are all factors that affect business even when people of different cultures use the same basic product the mode of consumption conditions of use 
purpose of use or the perceptions of the product attributes may vary so much that the method of presentation positioning or the method of promoting the product may have to be varied to suit the characteristics of different markets a very interesting example is that of the wix vapor up a popular pain balm which is used as a mosquito repellent in some of the tropical areas the values and beliefs associated with color vary significantly between different cultures while white indicates death and mourning in china and korea but in some countries it expresses happiness and is the color of the wedding dress of the bride red is the popular color in the communist countries but many other countries have a national distaste for red color The differences in languages sometimes pose a serious problem even necessitating a change in the brand name. When General Motors of the United States literally translated its marketing phrase body by Fisher into Flemish language it meant corpse by Fisher. Similarly the phrase come alive with pepsi faced problems when it was translated into german advertisements as come out of grave or in chinese as pepsi brings your ancestors back from the grave when the american car called nova was introduced in puerto rico sales were poor until the company realized that the word nova was pronounced as no wa which literally meant in spanish does not go sales were better when the name was changed an international marketer should have a thorough understanding of the language of the market else serious mistakes may occur one of the interesting example of how socio cultural environment influences the international business is the story of mcdonalds in india in the mid 1990s a large number of global fast food chains entered india hoping to capture a part of indian fast food segment but they found it difficult to establish themselves gaining acceptance locally and blending into the indian culture proved difficult when mcdonalds entered india it had to make the most dramatic changes as highest percentage of the indian population is vegetarian mcdonalds developed a menu especially for india with vegetarian selections to suit indian taste and culture McDonald's eliminated beef and pork from its Indian menu choosing names like Maharaja Mac Mac Alu and so on McDonald's introduced different variations in the burgers and other dishes that were not available in any McDonald's outlet anywhere in the world India was the first country to use eggless mayonnaise garlic free sauce to get in the hardcore vegetarian customers and offering a larger variety to the vegetarian consumers by McDonald's demographic environment demographic factors such as size of the population population growth rate age composition life expectancy family size spatial dispersal occupational status employment pattern etc affect the demand for goods and services a rapidly increasing population indicates a growing demand for many products the population growth rate thus is an important environmental factor which affects the business the heterogeneous population with its varied taste preferences beliefs temperaments gives rise to differing demand patterns and calls for different marketing strategies the next important macro environment factor is the natural environment geography is an important component of the foreign environment and refers to a country's climate topography natural resources and people different climatic conditions namely rainfall snowfall wind temperature humidity etc give rise to demand for different types of products 
For example, air conditioners and coolers have higher demand in the tropical regions where the weather is very hot and humid. Sweaters, woolen clothes and electronic appliances like humidifiers have more demand in the cold regions. Geographic conditions also affect a firm's plant location decision. A firm prefers to set up its manufacturing plant in a country which has favorable climatic conditions, suitable topography, for example, surface features such as hills, plains, river and sea, and where raw materials, energy and labor are cheaply and abundantly available. Industries with high material index tend to be located near the raw material sources. Climatic and weather conditions affect the location of certain industries like the cotton textile industry. Topographical factors may affect the demand pattern. For example, in Hahili areas with a difficult terrain, jeeps may be in greater demand than cars. The next and the last important macro environment factor is the technological environment. Technological environment has direct influence on international business. Technology changes at a faster rate. A firm which is unable to cope with the technological changes may not survive. The differing technological environment of different markets or countries may call for product modifications. The fast changes in technologies also create problems for enterprises as they render plans and products to be obsolete and outdated quickly. The level of technology is not the same in all countries. Advanced countries enjoy the fruits of latest technology while the developing nations face the consequences of obsolete and outdated technology. Therefore, companies have to understand the technology, analyze it before entering the foreign market. I have listed few of the books on international business that I have referred for this presentation. You can also find some of the examples that I have mentioned in my presentation from these listed books. These books on international business by different authors can also be referred for further reading and understanding. I hope you have enjoyed watching my video. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel.